I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my friend on Facebook, an IIT aspirant. Being an IITian myself, I can understand from where the question is coming and how to develop thinking process for answering such questions. The question here is, solve the equation x minus 1 divided by x plus x minus 2 divided by x and so on till plus 1 over x equals to 3. We need to find the value of x which is going to satisfy this equation. Now my dear friend, what you need to know here is how many terms are there in this particular series. That will give you an idea of solving this question. That's one thing. Second part which you need to know is uh, what is the general term for adding n numbers. For example, if you are to add 1 plus 2 plus 3, I mean, plus, I mean, let me rewrite, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till n, then what's the formula for that? Now this is very easy. It is n times n plus 1 divided by Okay, so this is the formula you need and you also need to know how many terms are there in this particular series, correct? So now, when you know these two things, I'd like you to pause the video, solve and then check with my solution. That should help you. Rather than getting the solution, it is at this stage important to understand how to solve such questions. That is going to help you more than my solution. Okay, now let's look into the number of terms. x minus 1, x minus 2, and we want to end up with 1. How can we do so? Well, if I take away, if I take away x, then I'll end with 0, but I want 1, not 0. That means 1 less than x. Do you get the idea? So that gives you the number of terms. So we have x minus 1 terms in this series. Correct? So that is how you can actually find the number of terms. So this part is our thinking part. We sometimes call it as rough work column also. Very important part of solving any problem. Now let's look into the question itself. Solve the equation x minus 1 divided by x plus x minus 2 divided by x plus so on till I should have written plus here also 1 over x equals to 3. So since we have found that the last term should be, let me rewrite, that will make it absolutely clear. x minus 1 over x plus x minus 2 over x plus so on. So instead of writing 1, I will write this as x minus x minus 1 over x with a plus sign equals to 3. You get it. Now if you take away x from x, you get 0. And when you take away minus 1, you get plus 1, right? And clearly it shows that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. x minus 1 terms, right? Okay. Now let's take 1 over x common. Then within brackets, we get how many x's? x minus 1 x's, correct? So we could write the first term as x times x minus 1. And then what numbers are we subtracting? Let's take 1 common, I mean minus common, and this becomes all positive. 1 plus 2 plus so on till, till x minus 1. Do you get it? And all this should be equal to 3. So now we have here sum of n terms where n is x minus 1. We'll apply this formula and then write down sum of all these numbers. So what we get here is 1 over x times x times x minus 1 minus. So if n is x minus 1, then this formula will be let me write this as x minus 1 times plus 1. That means 
x minus 1 plus 1 divide by 2 is it okay equals to 3 right I could have written x directly also but I want to like show you all the steps okay so I'm taking my time to help you understand the whole process x minus 1 minus so this is basically x right so we get this as x minus 1 times x so half of this value is it okay 3 now you can multiply by 2 take away so what you get is this is something minus that things half that means you'll get x minus 1 times x divided by 2 right equals to 3 so that is the simplified form of the left side now you can simplify it like this and of course we have this so x is not equal to 0 that is very clear so I've saved some space on the right side to finish off the solution okay let me make this box kind of like this so what we have here is x minus 1 over 2 equals to 3 since these two x's cancel right so we have x minus 1 over 2 equals to 3 that means x minus 1 equals to 6 or x is equals to 7 so that is our solution is it okay that is the solution for the given question now what you can also do is uh, test right so replace x with 7 and check it out so check solution that is also very important so to check solution what we can do is we can rewrite the whole expression with 7 right 7 minus 1 over 7 plus 7 minus 2 over 7 plus 7 minus 3 over 7 plus 7 minus 4 now this checking process will make you make all these steps absolutely clear also and that is why I'm taking this time so one two three four five six terms one less than seven do you see that right so I'm not writing equal to three we will check how much it is so what we get here is seven denominators common let me write one over seven here and within brackets we have six right plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one correct which is one over seven and this is how much six times seven divided by two right so this will be 6 times 7 divided by 2. You can actually add and confirm that and which is 7 and 7 will cancel. 6 divided by 2 is, is 3, right? So, so we get the answer 3. So I hope you understand the whole process of solving such question. I like you to go through this video again, lay stress on how to solve such questions kind of get a method of solving that should help you in your pursuit for IIT. Thank you and all the best.